Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning. What's up? It is Saturday, October 14, 2023. 12 or uh, 2023. Yeah, October 14th. There we go. I've been up too early. Uh, about 10.05 a.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.5 earthquake into the area of Alaska. Hopefully you had clear skies to view the annular eclipse, which is ongoing. Um, unfortunately, here in Northern California, we did have some clouds come in and obscure the uh, maximum um, eclipse, so to speak. Uh, here in Northern California, we're supposed to have about uh, 82 to 84% coverage here, which would only make this a sliver of a sun. Uh, but unfortunately, you can see a lot of the clouds rolled in and completely blocked out that, uh, well, that that duration uh, either way it was pretty cool to see uh, seeing some uh, beautiful ring of fire pictures showing up across Oklahoma and Texas uh, well across Texas so uh, yeah I mean hopefully you guys got it uh, if you got any really cool pictures send them to me I'll show them tonight on the uh, update later on this evening all right earthquake activity let's go ahead and check this out uh, got a 4.3 pretty deep earthquake here off the coast of Russia into the Japan Basin, uh, about 427 kilometers deep. Seeing some deeper activity uh, as well, just around the Japan area, a little bit further south in this region. So noticing um, a handful of deeper movement quakes out here in this vicinity of where that swarm kicked up. Um, it's been a, been a couple days now since we've seen it come to a halt. Remember the Izu Trench Swarm? Pretty significant earthquake swarm there for a few days. Well, uh, that's died off, but we're noticing the uh, increasing deeper movement quakes around the vicinity. So just keep your guard up. Uh, if you're around that area, could see some larger scale movement taking place here in that region. Uh, further down to the south, a handful of earthquakes there. Largest looks like a 4.9 into the Indonesia area, 10 kilometers deep. And a little bit of activity there across Papua New Guinea from yesterday. Not a whole lot going on through New Zealand, although late last night we did see, uh, just before midnight, a 5.7 earthquake coming into the Kermadec Trench, Kermadec Islands. This region here sees some uh, pretty deep earthquakes, and this one was 415 kilometers deep. Haven't really seen any major adjustment, though, for New Zealand. Still kind of watching that, uh, seeing if it kicks up in that area. Uh, the Big Island of Hawaii, zooming in here. Uh, a little bit of earthquake activity off the northwestern coast here of the Big Island uh, from yesterday. And uh, some general movement across the vicinity of the Pahala area and also outside Kilauea Volcano. I don't think this volcano is currently kicking up anything uh, of noteworthy events, but we'll double check this. This is from yesterday saying the volcano is currently not erupting. Uh, let's give a quick glance here at the... Uh, tilt meters there across Kilauea Volcano. Stand by for a second while I pull that up. Everything looks like it's working as it should today, as far as the USGS maps go. Uh, still noticing a decline. So in sequence here with the earthquake, or lack of earthquake activity, we're seeing that decline here uh, almost over the past two days. But elevated activity still shows, um, you know, that we're still up there. Uh, I think the USGS said uh, close to the five-year high limit or five year mark five oh goodness the highest it's been here in about five years as far as the tilt meter goes uh, but aside from that just kind of watching that uh, past two days again been showing deflation uh, there's a little earthquake activity there into the pahala area let's go ahead and check out the west coast see what's going on here uh, no earthquakes kicking up, you know, a lot of people tend to associate uh, the solar eclipses and whatnot with uh, earthquake activity. Well, I'm not seeing anything abnormal, nothing out of, uh, nothing that looks, you know, suspicious. Just typical daily earthquake activity here across the California region. A handful of smaller quakes in the vicinity of the Palm Desert region that's on the San Jacinto Fault Zone. San Andreas Fault looks quiet for now. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity out in Texas where that uh, uh, ring of fire eclipse is going on. They they got a beautiful view out there around Midland. And uh, if you're within this path of the uh, 
greatest uh, ring of fire view, uh, you're lucky. Hopefully you guys have clear skies. Uh, either way, I, I had to get up this morning to at least see if I could uh, view a little bit of it. I was going to live stream and then the clouds came in and then we started getting uh, the eclipse a little bit, a couple breaks in the clouds. And I was like, man, I, I'll just take some pictures. So, But I tell you what, next year for the total eclipse that comes across Texas and the, a good portion of the eastern states here, I will be out there live streaming it. And, and I guarantee you I will find a clear sky. There's the total eclipse path right here on this interactive map. Let me get rid of the um, 2023 map. Uh, areas around, it looks like Carryville, Waco, Dallas, Texas. All these areas are going to be in the path of totality. That means a complete blackout of the sun, not a ring of fire. This is going to be the total eclipse. Uh, I was up in Oregon during the last one, 2000, I uh, can't remember what year it was, but I was around the Madras, Oregon area for that, and that was quite the event. But, man, there were so many people up there. Uh, either way, I'm looking forward to this one, and I will be out there in the great state of Texas to a live stream and, of course, view that as well. All right, back to earthquake activity. Generally speaking out here, things are pretty quiet for the most part. Across the Caribbean plate as well, handful of earthquakes there in the um, Puerto Rico region, but really nothing unusual going on here today. Atlantic Ocean, 5.4, about 1 o'clock this morning or so. Uh, we did see some activity here in the Mediterranean Sea outside of Crete. Largest, um, well, it looks like a 4.7 up in Turkey, but we did see some fours down here across this little trench zone. Pretty shallow earthquake activity, though. All right, folks, so, yeah, just um, definitely seeing that noticeable uptick here. I'm a little on the uh, suspicious side that this may, this may uh, be building towards something bigger. Whether it's a Kuro Kamachaka up here or somewhere around this vicinity, because that earthquake swarm was just crazy there in the Izu Trench. And uh, really no reason for it. At least not that we know of yet. <clears throat> Alright, uh, space weather activity. I did catch a sunspot. Um, it was one of these. I think it was this one here that I caught. Uh, 3465. It would look something like that. But on my video uh, that I just posted on the channel. I posted like a 40 second video of the, uh, the eclipse that I could see anyway. I uh, actually captured a sunspot on there. I don't know if anybody else noticed it, but pretty neat. Um, but sunspots, uh, there's quite a few of them. It looks like a little sea flare activity coming in currently as we speak right there into the... Uh, looks like maybe one of these far side sunspots here on the eastern limb. Uh, look, looks pretty complex here. Notice these magnetic lines arching across the area. Could be a pretty active region. Looks like that's coming from an unnamed sunspot here on the eastern limb. Going to be this area right here. And there's a little bit of complexity in there. We'll watch that as it gets named and continues to uh, advance towards the uh, Earth view. Uh, Earth-facing Earth side of the sun. Uh, not a whole lot of auroras in the forecast as far as the space weather activity goes. Uh, Storm Prediction Center, weather outlook, not a whole lot of severe weather today. Portion of marginal risk out there along the east coast. Uh, and that looks like mainly due to a 2% tornado probability out there across North Carolina. Just restricted to this small area within that region. It looks like Greenville area. Let's see, let's look at this current map here show you guys what's going on with the clouds here's northern california and this this is actually pretty accurate um last night i looked at this model and this is a current satellite imagery and it's it's darn near identical to what it uh, predicted last night so i knew there would be quite a few clouds coming in winnemucca uh i think let's see here i'm pretty certain there that uh, they have quite a few clouds over there as well. I was going to drive over there, and I had planned it. I had the whole trip planned out and everything, but uh, 
I didn't want to drive out there for nothing because I knew that, uh, you know, there was that possibility of some clouds being uh, in this area. Yeah, see, here's Winnemucca, the webcams out here. These guys have probably just about the same amount of uh, <coughs> uh, view as what I did, but quite a few clouds. So I'm kind of glad I did not go in here or drive out to the Winnemucca area. Because uh, that's a six and a half hour drive there. So yeah, this uh, website here has a lot of cool stuff on here, webcams and whatnot, but uh, the cloud cover is what got us today. Hopefully during the totality next year uh, for the uh, complete total solar eclipse there out in Texas, and I showed you that map earlier, uh, hopefully we'll have clear skies out there. And that's uh, time past maximum eclipse, that's just that. That's from uh, today's event. So anyway, we'll cover that, obviously, more as we get towards that date. And, of course, I will be out there covering that. All right, folks, I am going to jump off here. I do have a brisket. I decided to take advantage of getting up somewhat early here. And uh, I slapped on a huge brisket on the grill, smoking it with uh, some black walnut bark. And it's going to take a good 12 hours or so, I think, to cook this thing. I put it up there about, uh, oh, it was about 7.30 in the morning. So we're just coming up on three hours of it being on the grill. i got a long ways to go, but I'll be outside kind of cooking with that. I'll, I'll throw up a video there for the uh, members so they can see what's going on. See what we're having for dinner a little bit later on. All right, folks, have a good one. Stay safe out there. And again, if you got any really cool pictures, got a couple already, uh, one from San Diego area. Uh, we'll be showing these later tonight in the update video. Earthmastermail at gmail.com is my email. Please feel free to send them to me. And we'll show them up on the update later this evening. Have a good one. Enjoy your Saturday.